So right now what you're looking at is all the lights in my room turned on. Every light, even the lamp behind me is turned on. And in this video, I am going to show you guys the importance of taking your time and actually lighting your videos and not just turning on all the lights just to get good exposure for your video. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my house lights. Echo, turn off bat cave. So this is what all lights when I got this window coming in from here, but uh, that wouldn't really make a difference, honestly, just for the purpose of this video. Um, but we're gonna turn the key light on and we're gonna start with one light at a time. So let's get the key light going. So I have my key light. So this is the Godox SL60W. So this is what it looks like with just the key light and nothing else is right off screen is right there in front of me. Um, but you wanna have the light kinda like at a 45 degree angle shooting down because you wanna try to get that triangle in your face is called Rembrandt lighting. And that's what a lot of like professional filmmakers and videographers do. So, hey, might as well do it. Um, but I have the light here on this side and it shapes my face a little bit. So it's a little darker on this side. I can move the light more to this way, to this side to make it more dramatic. Uh, but I think this is a pretty good sweet spot for what I'm doing as far as like a talking head YouTube video. So the next light I'm gonna add is my backlight and I have it up above me. So I'm gonna get that light turned on and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So right now I have the, the Godox TL60 above me. The cool thing about these lights, these tube lights is you can control them from the app and right now they are way too bright. So I'm gonna bring them down on just a tad. So right now I have it like 8%. So we're gonna turn it off and turn it on. Oop. Like you see the difference in the light. I'm looking off to my monitor on the side. So that's why I'm looking down. But yeah, so now you got some separation from the background. Now, if you really wanna go in like depth, so right now this is a good setup. Like you don't have to do anything else. And you can actually use this exact setup on interview shoots and get a really professional look. I have done interviews with just the key light by itself, but now I have this Godox and the Godox is actually um, playing off of the window because now you, your mind is thinking the window behind me is what's lighting my head and my back and all that stuff. But it's really the Godox light. So if you turn it off, you don't really see much light behind me. Um, but if you turn it on, you emphasize that window light. So when you're shooting, you want to look at your motivated lighting. And um, I'm using my window as the motivated backlighting. Uh, but when you're shooting interviews and films, you want to look at your motivated lighting because that will definitely make your lighting look more believable and not look too sourcey. Um, sourcey means your scene looks lit. Now for YouTube purposes, that's fine. Um, this is okay. Of course it looks lit because it's YouTube talking head and I want you to be able to see me. And you know, yeah. So this is just the key light and the backlight. Um, but you can go ahead and go a step further and you can start adding accent lights. Like I use my lamp, echo, turn on lamp. So I have my lamp in the back there. Um, echo, turn lamp to blue. Now I got a blue light. Echo, turn lamp to 10%. Don't want it too bright. Echo, turn on wall. See, now I have, you know, my LED strip lights, but so now this is more stylistic lighting. This isn't really cinematic, but it's great for YouTube setups because you want to have your, your talking head look as good as possible because if you have a good video and good audio, people will take you serious. Um, but, but yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, if you can, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, this is all you really need. I have two, two lights minus my lamp and my LED light strip behind me. But yeah, so this is it. Uh, if this video was helpful, like and subscribe, uh, turn on notification bells, join the On Edge community. We are going up and up, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.